Marcus Conte reporting the news. Reporting the news. How are you, man? Marcus Conte reporting. Reporting, reporter reporting the news. So, there's a couple of stories today. Let's going to jump into some stories. Speed read the morning news. Mr. Moore on Epstein. Epstein bullshit. Bullshit. Is he dead? Is he dead? Who the hell knows what the fuck is going on with Jeffrey Epstein? Jeffrey Epstein. More and more and more news. We'll get to the bottom of it. We're just going to keep, you know, accumulate the metadata. Uh, Hong Kong falling. That's my main story today. Hong Kong is in need of our immediate attention. Uh, it, they're bleeding, and um, <clears throat> the international community is turning their back uh, for the most part. Talk about the rigged primary uh, polls, some polls out, some fake polls on the Democrats, still cheating their asses off. And the uh, Chris Cuomo Fredo stir up. <laughs> you fucking love that shit, man. So, this is dope, man. So uh, let's look at this first. Yeah, There's a fucking funny video I found. Uh, so guy, right, this cab driver, just start off with a little comedy. Cab driver's driving along, right? And and uh, some 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 bearded Arab guy kicks him, right? A messenger. Right? Kicks, the, kicks the cab in London. Check this shit out. Watch what happens. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, yeah? Kick your ass. Watch this shit, man. Watch, watch. <laughs> His pants fall down. <laughs> ah, my fucking nigga. His pants fell down. You saw that shit? You saw his ass cheeks? Watch. You'll see it again. Watch. So, so, Mr. Arab man. Oh, you fucking Arab. Watch, watch his ass fall down. Watch. 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 <laughs> Ah, I fucking love it, man. Ah, the Akba. Ah, haka maka. Hoy. Hey, yo, fuck a maka. Haka, So, so that was pretty cool. fucked up, right? So, so let's look at the fake polls. <clears throat> Back to real life, right? It's fucking. That's more real than this is, because that's that's real life. This is fucking fake. Right, so, so here's here's some polls from from the last time I checked. Uh, I think was September was August seven, right after this is all after the debate, post debate. But uh, Joe Biden sticks his foot in his mouth. Kamala Harris explodes in fucking in in you know devastating devastating attacks from Tulsi Gabbard implodes. And but how did the polls reflect it? So as of August seven, the uh, Economist. I think I talked about this one. Economist has Joe Biden twenty five percent. And Sanders, 13. Those are the only two I'm going to talk about because those are the only two that matter. <laughs> the rest is bullshit, right? Sanders is the, is the favorite. If he's not the president, if he's not the, the nominee, if he's not the, the candidate, the independent candidate, look, the, the Democrats, the polls only rep, rep, represent 26% of the country. That's the Democrats. And half those people don't want Biden, right? They want, a, they want Bernie Sanders, right? So... So that's only 13, you only, you're only polling 13% of the country. What about all the independents that are locked out of any Democratic polling because they dem-exited? They're not interested in playing the corrupt Democrat uh, game. And what about all the disenfranchised uh, Trump, uh, Trump voters that realized that Trump was full of shit and didn't deliver on anything, really? So... The poll, the, Bernie Sanders is, has a 70% approval rating, so he's likely, he's, he is the favorite, but the polls don't reflect it. And uh, again, corporate Democrats trying to push uh, Biden up front, that's the cheat right now. That is the cheat. Rig the polls so that the, the fake press talks about it, and here we go. So they got Biden at 28% and Sanders at 9% in Iowa. In, in Iowa. <laughs> California primary, Biden 25%, Sanders 18%, Warren 21%. Uh, so Elizabeth Warren, they're putting her high in the, uh, because she's the turncoat. She's Fredo. She'll, she'll turn on a dime. She's the weak hand. Uh, Bernie Sanders is rock solid. He ain't going anywhere. You, you elect him president, and we're going to talk about policy. And we're going to talk about more policy. And policy and policy and policy. That's what we're going to talk about. Because that's what a president should be doing. That's what a leader should be doing. I'm not talking about any other thing but policy for the people. So, so, so there's that one. So these are the f- fresh, fresh. Um, 
Survey USA has Biden 33%, Sanders 20%. Bull freaking shit. Yeah. So also Politico morning consultant as of August 13, that's yesterday, has Biden 33% and Sanders 20%. That's their latest. Total bullshit. Who's voting for fucking Joe Biden? I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody who, 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 who is anybody who would vote for Joe Biden. But nonetheless, they seem to find them. They call those landlines. They call the old age homes. Uh, and what else? So this is a, a New Hampshire Democratic presidential primary. They got Sanders beating. That's the only one where Sanders, they have Sanders beating Biden, 21% not in, in, uh, in New Hampshire. So that's, that's, again, that's a rig. So they'll say, oh, yeah, see, Sanders won New Hampshire because that's the fact. That's one of the first primaries. And they'll say, no, no, but Joe Biden, you see, he's, he's favored everywhere else. He's favored everywhere else. <laughs> so there's the fake, uh, fake primaries, the polls. Don't believe the polls. Don't believe the polls. Bernie Sanders 2020. So let's talk about some, some uh, and why, why? Let's talk about it. So why, why, why talk about, why does it matter, Conti? Nothing matters. Politics are all fake. Our elections are, everything is fake. So why support it? Because that's precisely what they want you to do, you dumb asses. They want you to be complacent. That's complacency. Yo, fucking the Satan, fucking the whole, the whole place is, it's, it's, it's infested with Satan. Uh, no, that's, that's precisely what the, what establishment wants you to do. They want you to stop paying attention. They want you to turn away from, from the process so that, so that you don't have any control over the process. And let them run the process, right? Let them run the process. That's precisely what they want you to do. But if you lean into it and stand together with policy, you can, you can break the back of the oligarchy. That's called a political revolution. Now, you may not believe it's possible, and you may think that a savior is necessary as the leader, that, that the, the, the uh, leader of the party must have the powers of Jesus, Jesus or Ali Akbar, right, to, to, uh, <laughs> to uh, start a revolution. But that's not really the case. The case is that the policy, if you put a figurehead like Bernie Sanders up front and you rally in the debates and that's all you're talking about is policy. And then you defeat Trump on policy. Then you got the president in the office who's talking about policy. And then the people continue to talk about policy. Eventually, you have a political revolution. So, so here's, uh, here's the Epstein stuff. And uh, jail guards assigned to watch Epstein were sleeping. <laughs> that's unbelievable. I mean, can we believe any of this stuff? The two Manhattan jail guards tasked with monitoring Jeffrey Epstein before he died, fell asleep on the job and fudged the log numbers, the log entries, to show they checked on him and other inmates when they actually didn't, according to reports. A lot of cops do that. Cops do that all the time. They just, they have to log and they just put something in there and they go to, go to the donut shop. Uh, surveillance video viewed by Epstein's after Epstein's death, showed the guards at Metropolitan Center and never made some of the inspections noted in the log. A prison and law enforcement official told the po New York Times late Tuesday that the guards were asleep when they failed to check on Epstein. All right, do you believe it? I don't know. Show us the fucking video. Show us the goddamn me the fucking video. Uh, so what else do we have here? So Warden, now, now Warden on... Uh, Warden of jail, warden at MCC, where Jeffrey Epstein apparently killed himself, uh, killed himself, resigned. So the warden resigned. Two guards placed on leave on order of, ah, William Barr, the good, gen the good attorney general, William Barr, stepping in. Trump's got him on the case, right? <laughs> okay. So... That's all. The warden resigned. Now they, they're, looking for the, they're looking for the fall guy, right? Somebody's got to take the fall. So it's the warden. It's the, it's the cops. It's the, what? But it never happened in 25 years. It never happened in the whole history of the jail where someone kills themselves. And all of a sudden, it happens, and now they got to find the fall guy. But who put him up to it? Who put them up to it? Was it Hillary? Was Hillary in the back? Was Hillary and Bill in the other room laughing their asses off saying, get him? Now, get him, get him, get him. No, it's not, it's not like, of course we know that Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton or some other 
organized hit squad wasn't on the premises. But how does it how does it happen that that uh, that sort of gaping window of time suddenly appears and he's either allowed to kill himself, which I don't know. Well, by all by all um, accounts, it doesn't seem possible. He hanged himself with a bed sheet, you know, uh, uh, under an eight foot wall with nothing to tie it onto. It just doesn't seem logical. So, what whether he was able to navigate to to arrange his own hanging, or someone came in there and choked him. Um, either way, it still it still amounts to uh, the MCC and the establishment killed Jeffrey Epstein so far. Now, again, if you if you don't think it's him, though, that's another story. But I think it is him, and because there is an autopsy, there's a series of lying that must go on to to do that. Apparently, the the family had uh, Jeffrey Epstein's brother had some other. Uh, doctor in the room during the autop- autopsy. So nobody's screaming, that ain't his body. It ain't his body. That's another body. That's not fucking Jeffrey Epstein. I know his, I know his fucking his egg-shaped dick. That's not it. That's not Jeffrey Epstein. I don't believe that. So, so, so he has a great dust-up, man. This is fucking hysterical. So apparently Chris Cuomo was at a foofy dinner. Right? He was at a, at a fundraiser of some sort. And a couple of guys laid into him, man. This is funny, man. And he lost his shit. Totally, totally fucking went off on this guy, man. Just, you know, check it out. I'll, I'll fucking ruin your shit. I'll fucking throw you down these stairs like a fucking punk. Wow. I thought that's who you were. No, punk ass bitches from the right call me Fredo. My name is Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. Fredo. Uh, so Fredo, uh, well, I'll start it again. Fredo, <laughs> first of all, Fredo, right? I can speak to this because I, this is a, I lived, I grew up in an Italian neighborhood. My, I have a vowel at the end of my name. Uh, Fredo is the character from The Godfather. Now, if you call somebody Fredo, it's not a slur. It's not a racial slur. It's not. It's it's to say Fredo, the character in, in The Godfather, was a was a soft hand. He was a little stupid. He wasn't as smart as smart as his brother. He 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 was uh, he lived his life in the shadow of his father. <laughs> so Chris Cuomo is Fredo, really, because his brother is the is the smart, powerful governor. His father, his brother was the, is the governor of of New York, and his father was also the governor of New York with a potential to run for president that he never took advantage of. So the very powerful father, you know, the very you know, iconic father that started the whole thing, and then his 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 brother, right? And Fredo also was a was a traitor. He was easily manipulated, and he I think it was Mo Green in the movie that uh, allowed allowed uh, a hit on Michael. So Michael eventually ultimately kills Fredo for for being a traitor and being stupid and all that. So Chris Cuomo is at a party and someone calls him Fredo. What? What are you gonna I'll, do about it? I'll fucking ruin your shit. Then. I'll fucking something. throw you down these stairs something. like a fucking punk. I thought that's who you were. No, punk-ass bitches from the right call me Fredo. My name is Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. Um. Fredo is from The Godfather. He was that weak brother. I know it was you, Fredo. That your and they brother, use though? it as an Italian aspersion. Any of you Italian? It's a fucking insult to your people. It's not an insult to your people. It's an insult to you. It's a, Fredo was a Fredo is a is a quintessential fool, and he called you Fredo. It's not an insult to call. It's not an insult to say Fredo. It's that's not insulting the Italian people. That's insulting you, you fucking loser. It's an insult to your fucking people. It's like the N-word for us. Wow. So is, that, is that a cool fucking thing? You're a much more reasonable guy in person than you seem to be on television. Yeah, but if you want to play, then we'll fucking play. If you've got something you want to say about what I do on television, then say it. But I'm going to fall me a Hey, man, insult. hey, listen. What? what? I don't want any problems. Bro. Yeah, you're going to have a big fucking... The guy's got him really triggered, man. The guy's be- playing him beautifully. He's just standing there. Go ahead. What are you going to do? You ain't going to do shit, you faggot. Hey man, hey insult? listen. What? what? I don't want any problems. Bro. Yeah, you're gonna have a big fucking problem. What's the problem? It's a little different on TV. Don't fucking insult me like What's that. I didn't insult you. Yeah, I you call me Fredo. It's like I call you punk bitch. You like that? 
You want that to be your nickname? I didn't call you that. I you called me Fredo. You I know thought, my name's not fucking Fredo. I thought your name was. You did not think my name was fucking Fredo. Don't be a liar. I thought you want to be a man. Stand listen, up like a man. I'm standing up, man. You want to be a man up yeah, here? Then up. fucking own it. Then own what listen, you said. Man. Hey. Then own what you said. Listen, listen take man. Take a problem with you, man. Yeah, you're going to have a fucking problem. What? What are you going to do about it? I'll fucking ruin your shit. I'll fucking throw you down these stairs like a fucking punk. Please do. You don't want to do that. So you can fucking sue? Well, why don't you do it? Take a swing. You want to call me Fredo? Take a fucking swing. Swing take a you. fucking swing. Watch your fucking hands. Take a swing. Watch your fucking hands. Take a swing. No, no, come on, boy. Come on, boy. So you want to call me shit? Call me shit. Hey, listen, man. I'm right fucking here. I'll fucking wreck your shit. I'll fucking wreck your shit. Stop. You didn't know what you were doing. I thought it was your name. I thought it was your name. You didn't know, right? Hey, you didn't know what you were saying, right? I thought it was your name. You I'm breaking it up. I'm breaking it up. Here's a little entry. I wanted to be like Wonder Woman, and I'm gonna wear a shirt that says it. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. What's with the air kisses? So many more questions. That was good, man, right? So Fredo, <laughs> that guy really got him, man. That was really fucking, really triggered him, right? So so Chris Cuomo has got caught, caught with his ass open, right? He was just a little sensitive, right? Why, why was he so sensitive? Because he's Fredo, and he knows it. He's a, he's a sellout, a turncoat. He works for CNN. He's he's like that's like working for Mo Green, right? And you, you you're there, you're 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 fucking weak hand. You don't have a mind of your own. You're living in the shadow of daddy and your your powerful brother. You little pussy. That guy triggered you, man. Fuck you, Chris Cuomo. Fuck you. So so here's here's uh, Beijing. Beijing. This is sad, right? So we'll end on the top story, right? So. Uh, Beijing refuses American warships entering, to Hong, entering into Hong Kong ports. So we have warships heading into Hong Kong. Why? Because China's on the move. Right? Communism is taking a breath. Now, there's two Chinas, right? People don't know this. The historical after World War II, there's two Chinas. There's the Communist Republic of China, the whatever, the big long word. And then there's the uh, Republic of China, which was originally the the establishment, uh, the established uh, 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 government in that country. And then they split. The communists took over and the other, the other Chinese fled. They went to Hong Kong. They went to Taiwan. And after, uh, so, so after the, the, lease, the lease expired for Hong Kong, uh, the people of Hong Kong, had uh, a lease with the British. The British run, ran Hong Kong for all these years. And when the lease expired, Hong Kong promised that nothing would change for 50 years. Well, everything is changing because China is on the rise. So it's the communist side of China fighting off the Republic of China, which is also Taiwan. Uh, so Taiwan, at the point, at the, I was told that Hong Kong could have went with, in the direction of Taiwan. Taiwan could have been the, um, I guess, the rightful heir of Hong Kong because the people that are running Hong Kong, the people that are running Taiwan are also the Republic of China that fled from China. It's, it's involved and it's, it's sticky, but nonetheless, Hong Kong is in a, in a place right now where the, the, the international glo world you know, community is turning their back to communist tyranny taking over Hong Kong. And uh, it's getting sad. So here's some, there's a lot of video. Trump warns, be calm and safe, confirms China moving troops to Hong Kong border. They are. I got the video. Our intelligence has informed us that the Chinese government is moving troops to the border with Hong Kong. Everyone should stay calm. Look, the police are one thing, right? The police, the Hong Kong people are fighting off the two million people are fighting off Hong Kong police and they're winning. They're shutting down places and stuff. But now the Chinese military are pulling in. Shit is going to get ugly. They're not going to, they're going to start, they're going to start slaughtering people. Many are blaming me, Trump. Again, self-centered Trump. Many are blaming me and the United States for the problems going on in Hong Kong. I can't imagine why. We have nothing to do with it. We have nothing to do with it at all. So, Here's the video of the troops. There, there's the evidence right there. You can see the troops. You can see the troops, uh, Chinese um, troops going around the border. They're coming in from the Shenzhen, 
Shenzhen, Shenzhen uh, district of China. It's just a long line of endless line of of uh, military personnel, tanks. They're, they're moving in. They're in. They've now they've now they're taking Hong Kong. There's your evidence. So government, Chinese government once again condemned the protesters on Tuesday, accusing them of acts of terrorism. That's it. A- any any, any uh, opposition to Chinese rule is an act of terrorism, and that's where they're going to sm- start smashing heads and killing people. <clears throat> so here's some guy. I don't know who he is. This, these are the protesters making a citizen's arrest of some sort. I don't know who this guy is. He's a reporter for GT. Uh, he's being seized by demonstrators at Hong Kong airport. Not very interesting. Uh, let's see what else there is. So th- this is a this is another bloody fight right here. Watch this shit. I always said, man, you gotta you gotta lay into the cops. Watch this shit. Watch this. <laughs> ass kick that cop's ass cop pulled his gun out he saw the gun i'm surprised the cop didn't shoot he's He's down he's down Ah, a little little taste of your own medicine you jerk off here's another view of that one here's another video of uh someone i guess this guy one of these guys is filming, but here's another shot of it. You see the, the, the there's more than one person kicking the shit out of the cop. Watch. Oh. oh my god. Bang, bang, bang. They're kicking the shit out of this cop. That's good. That's what you have to do, man. You gotta fight back. There's the gun. That's what time it is. I don't know what else is on this video. The cops ran away. Chaos on the airport. So what else is going on? So there's more. Um, uh, knew this yesterday. It's getting dangerous for Hong Kong. They can't fight the police. How in the hell do you think they're going to fight the Chinese military? <laughs> That's a good point right there. Some Steve MAGA guy. Fuck you, MAGA fucking jerk-offs. MAGA. We're MAGA. We're the coalition for the MAGAs. Fucking fuck you, you maggots. Goddamn guys. Guys, pull my chain. Here's another one. Uh, it's, just, it's just shots of chaos in the, inside the airport. The people are powerful. Don't kid yourself, man. They're shutting the shit down, right? <laughs> it just... Just laying in, laying in the airport, man. Three hours, five hours, ten hours. They ain't moving. Police come in, try to break it up. Not working. When the people stand together and rise up, this is what happens. You can win. What else? 
possible that they knew exactly who they were coming for. Uh, they seem to be determined. They, there's cameras inside. Um, the... They're just they're just everywhere. That's it. Protest is everywhere. Just human, just bodies getting in the way of everything. They're wearing yellow vests too. Ah, rebellion, all oh, fighting. And uh, worth questioning. Careful now. More the the uh, police are very loose with those sticks, though. You don't see it on mainstream media, but in in real life, they are cracking heads and smacking people to the ground. What else we got? Mm -hmm. Hong Kong police have shown up at the airport in masks that completely hide their face and without identification numbers showing on being sh being on show. Wow, you don't even know if they're cops. So much for being uh, protectors of the city. Thugs, more like it. Here is a, uh, those images. I don't know who that faggot is. Who is he? This guy keeps popping up. Zhang's concert was originally due to be held... Oh, oh! This must be a uh, Hong Kong rock star. Oh, Hong Kong rock star. What's this? This is a lot, a lot of people marching. A lot of people standing up for their rights, man. Hong Kong, we are with you. We are with you. Where's the UN? Where's the where's the uh, where's the troops coming in? Where's the US? The US should stop that. I thought you guys are against communism. I thought you were against the, the spread of communism. Well, get your asses in there and, and stop the fucking flow of communism, right? <laughs> There's more people sitting in. It's like the 1960s in the U.S. where people sat in, you know? His, somebody got their eyeball knocked out. It's a lot of eyeballs because they're shooting those rubber bullets. So this is a big uh, protest there in Hong Kong with the... Uh, so this is, this is a lamb. This is the, the, listen to what she said. Violence, no matter if it's used, using violence or condoning violence, will push Hong Kong down a path of no return and accuse them of trying to, oh, oh yeah, so she warned on Tuesday the protesters' violence tactics were pushing Hong Kong into dangerous territories and accused them of trying to destroy rule of law. No, you fucking old cunt. You old cunt. You are destructing rule of law. The rule of the law was 50 years, no engagement by China. And now you'll take the money. You'll take the money from the Chinese man. You'll take money from China. <laughs> and you'll, <laughs> you'll traitor. You're traitor. You're traitor, Miss Lamb. You are traitor. Ah, uh, take... Ah, <laughs> uh, fat, fat lady want to go home. I just want to go home. That's all I want to do. I want to go home. Please, please let me go home. <laughs> then he found passenger blocked, angry, confront. Fucking kids are just chilling, man. Just chilling, man. Fucking let the fat bitch climb over you. Let the fat bitch climb over you. Here she comes. <laughs> Quintessential. He's the quintessential moron, the fat Chinese. Look at this fucking lady. Is she Chinese? Oh, please, I just want to go home. I want to go home, my fucking fat. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Oh my god, please. Please, I want to go home. <laughs> She's Hong Kong because she speaks Cantonese. Oh, how are you feeling? I know you look extremely distressed right yeah, now. How's the, how do you feel? I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> what else? Oh, there's some other shit going on. So they're clogging up the airports. Hey, Marcus Conti reporting, man. So that's the big story right there. No, it's laughing, but... You got to make humor of it, but it's it's getting ugly in Hong Kong now that the Chinese troops, that's the uh, that's some real serious shit, man. Once that, once the fucking Hong Kong troops come in, you know they're not they're gonna start cracking heads. You know what I'm saying? So, so we got fake polls in America. Is it getting better? 
Is the uh, rigged elections getting better? No, nah, it's getting worse, man. It's just getting worse and worse. The polls are rigged. The, the media is still talking like it matters, that Joe Biden is the man. That Joe Biden's going to run on and beat Trump and everything's going to be fine. You know, fucking, what else, man? It's got Je- Je- Jeffrey Epstein looking, looking more and more like a murder. I had somebody got out of the way and came in there and fucking heart gunned him or, or choked his ass or stuffed a fucking sock up his nose. Some shit happened, man. We'll never, I guess we'll never know, you know. The guards are sleeping. The, the video is down. There's maintenance. There's, I thought they were fucking, didn't they? Yesterday they said that the guards got sent home. They got sent home and now all of a sudden they were sleeping. It's all bullshit. It's, it's fucking bullshit, man. It's a bullshit. It's a setup, man. It's fucking Clinton body bag, man. Clinton body bag, man. What else? Cuomo fucking went off, man. That shit was dope, man. That was dope, man. Fucking easy to trigger that jerk off. So easy to trigger that, you know? So our our prayers are with Beijing. Uh, Not, I take that back. Our prayers are with Hong Kong. We need to, we need to voice the, the, the will of the world. You can't just let a communist, uh, you know, country just steamroll uh, Hong Kong because they're not going to stop there. They're going to go for Taiwan. Then they'll say, oh, no, no, Japan, you know, they'll, they're going to do it, right? And none of these places other than China have an army, right? Hong Kong doesn't have an army. Taiwan has a little army. Japan depends on us. So it's, it's us again. We're put in the position of, of gatekeeper. And, um, hey, listen, man, we got, we got all these, we got, we got so many troops and so, so many, and the least we can do is help out, the, help out the people of Hong Kong. After all, there's all the banks are there and there's, there's, you know, there's legitimate commerce still in Hong Kong. I, I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's there right now. So, uh, Marcus Conte, you're reporting.